Bro, what's your name? I'm Cameron. Cameron? Yeah, my YouTuber name is Cameron Weinhardt. Hey, hey, look on this sign, Cameron. You see, you see your uh, your name up here. So according to the Bible, the so-called black man, the so-called Hispanics, our name or the is Israel in the Bible. But our people are not being taught that. You know, so if you're a so-called African American in the Bible, your name is Judah. Did you know that? No. Did you know Christ was a black man? What Christ looked like to you, bro? I, I thought he was just white or black. Right, you thought he looked like that, right? Oh crap, is nice here. Yeah, he's looking at me right there. Look. No, this this you see this sign right here? Yeah. Who is that to the majority of the world? Who is that that man right here? No. This one this one right here. Who is that? So, so, right, because our people think that that's Jesus. But where in the Bible does it say Jesus look like that? That's nowhere. So, so where, who taught you that Christ was a white man? Nobody, I thought he was just black and white. Right, he's a black man. We're going to show you that. Watch this. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So look, it says his head, his head and his hair were white like wool. Just like that image right there at the end. So his hair is the image right here. He has woolly hair and he has white hair. You see that? So that's strike one for, for this demon right here. Because his hair is not woolly or white, right? Like the Bible said. That's what the Bible says. Basically, yeah, that's Satan right there. Read on. But watch this. We're going to keep going. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So Christ drunk wine. So that's why his eyes were as a flame of fire. Just like this picture right here. You see that? That's why he has red red eyes right here. But he doesn't have red eyes. You see that? That's, that's a depiction of Christ. That's not him. But uh, that's something similar to what Christ would look like. If, thought, if you've seen him. I thought, I thought Satan looks like, like, like has a red skin, actually, has red skin. Right, Bible, Christ is a black man. And right. we going to finish up on that. Watch this. Verse 15. And his feet like unto fine brass. Hey, hey, little man, Cameron. What color is uh, brass? Huh? What color is brass? You know what color brass is? No. It's like a brownish color. It's like a light brown. So it says Christ's feet were light brown, like brass, right? Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. So you take a, a light brown, brownish color, right? And you burn it in the furnace. You burn it, right? What color is it going to come out? It's going to be black. It's going to be black. Right. So that was describing his feet. So if Christ's feet was black, what color were Christ's legs? black what, what color was the rest of his body black, black. Yes, so right. christ was what color oh right. praise it so christ was a black uh, a black man according to the bible right so if somebody came and asked you cameron where do you know christ was a black man according to the scripture oh, oh I, what would you say I, oh i just i just saw a little black bit that's all i thought yeah um, but give me give me a Thessalonians 5.21 yeah, and, and I'm next to his son I'm next to God's birthday now, now that's good That's good You know that Christ is a black man now You know Christ look like you now But watch this yeah. Real quick And I'm trying to follow my dream <clears throat> The book of 1 Thessalonians Chapter 5 verse 21 Prove all things You hear that Cameron? So when somebody asks you about the Bible, you are to do what? Prove all things. So you got to prove it. Not only do you not have to know that he's a black man, but you have to prove it. Now go back to Revelation. All right. Now I, I gave you the book already. All right. I'm going to give you the uh, the chapter and the verse too. So it's Revelations 114. All right. That's how you know Christ was a black man. All right. So let me ask you one more time. How do you know that Christ was a black man? Where do you go in the Bible?
Right. But now you got the proof. Revelations 1.14. Remember that, all right? Say it, say it one time. Revelations 1.14. <laughs> Revelations 1.14 It's alright you, You're going to get Just just know that It's in the last book of the Bible Alright Chapter 1 It's in the first chapter Alright Alright good So we are the Israelites According to the Bible That's why we out here We out here to wake our people up Including you So God Give me a uh, Give me a uh, Deuteronomy 7 Inclu Including you bro there's something special about yourself that you don't know. And we are here to tell you. We are here to teach you according to God's words. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. You hear that camera? It says you are a holy people according to God. So you weren't taught that in school. You probably wasn't even taught that in church. You've been to church before? They ever taught you that? Nope. But guess what? This is what the Bible says. You are a holy people. Read on. The Lord thy God have chosen thee. He chose you. God has chosen you. Read on. <clears throat> have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So he chose you to be above all everybody else on the earth. So why why didn't uh, the church teach you that? Oh, I, I haven't been to church. Oh, you know you never been to church. Okay, that's good. That, that's good. But now you know. The Bible says He chose you to be better than all the other people on the earth. Right. Now give me uh give, give me a, go back to Matthew 19. Because you have a duty on this earth. You have a job to do. The Most High God views you as a son. So as as his son, you are supposed to do what your father says, right? I'm Jesus. But watch this. Matthew chapter, 19, Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? So uh, a black man, he came to Christ. Back when uh, Christ was living, he said, Christ, what do I have to do in order to get the kingdom of heaven? Read on. And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. So Christ responded to the black man. He said, why are you calling me good? There is none good but one. Read on. That is God. He's talking about the heavenly father, right? Read on. Yeah, but if thou wilt enter into life, he said, but if you want eternal life, if you want the kingdom of heaven, you want the kingdom, right? Um, I just, I just hope I will go to hell. You, you want to go to heaven, right? Yes, but I don't want to go to heaven. This is, this is going to tell you what you got to do. Read on. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. So how do you get to heaven? Keep the commandments. All praise to the Most High. So you got to keep the laws. You got to keep God's law. So if the law says thou should not kill, you can't kill nobody. If it says thou should not steal, you can't steal from nobody. You can't do none of that. Yeah. All right. So he got a flyer. Somebody, somebody give a little man a flyer. I try to be like the I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. Just repent. All right. Just don't do it again. And and do good from now on. Now that you know you're special, all right? Yeah, keep your money in your pocket. All right, uh, men of Israel, sons of God. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us.
more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.